The Vision High School Sports Beat is brought to you by the nine locally owned Vision Automotive Group dealerships from Buick, GMC, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Hyundai, Ford, Kia, and Nissan, with locations in Webster, Henrietta, Greece, Penfield, Fairport, and Canandaigua, online at visionauto.com. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us for the start of year four of the Vision High School Sports Beat. I'm Bill Pucko. Every week at this time we take a comprehensive look at sports in Monroe County in Section 5 and we begin with our honor roll of high school teams. We are early on but here are the three top performers of the week. In boys soccer, Pittsburgh Sutherland won twice in the Pittsburgh Showcase. The Knights shut out Aquinas and Wayne by a five goal margin. And number two, the Pittsburgh Mended girls soccer team won the Hilton Tournament Barb Bruce had two shutouts in defeating Hilton and Greece Arcadia. And in the number one slot is the Penfield Girls Volleyball Team. The Patriots hosted the traditional season opener featuring many of the area's top teams. Penfield defeated Baldwinsville in the final. Emma Guy was the tournament MVP. Which brings us to Victor, where last month Abby Wambach helped prepare the next generation of outstanding girls soccer players. We are camping out with Abby. She is as iconic as they come, so being part of the annual Abby Wambach soccer camp is something special. We try to not only talk about soccer, but we try to talk about health, nutrition, exercise, getting outside, being active, uh, and, and what it means to be in a community and, and trying to be a positive influence. Fellow members of the Western New York Flash take part in the camp, along with a couple of local high school coaches, Tom Natale of Fairport, and Kelly Ahern of Victor. She takes a lot of what she does with the national team level um, and the Western New York Flash, and she brings that to the camp. So the kids are doing activities um, that those teams actually do. So we ourselves as high school coaches can bring that back to our teams as well. Ahern is a Mercy graduate, class of 1995, three years ahead of Abby. They were high school teammates for two years. I was definitely like her older sister um, when we were at Mercy, and um, there were some things, you know, like as she said, you know, she was kind of the eighth grade freshman tag along, and um, you know, we were we helped her to mature a little bit, um, but she was always extremely feisty, um, and she didn't care that she was an eighth grader or a freshman. Um, she never, you know, she didn't act like it and she always wanted to be kind of the first in line. Um, she always wanted to be the best at whatever she was doing. Which includes working the camp. Not surprisingly, Wambach takes special interest in her specialty, heading. It's very difficult to gain momentum when you're up in the air. So that's when your technique has to be perfect and the timing has to be perfect. Score on you. All right, practice it. I've learned a lot. I've learned how to head a ball better. I've learned how to do everything better and to like eat healthier so then I could grow up and achieve more and then I don't have to think back, back about what ifs. I've seen Abby a lot because I go to the flash, every flash game for the past two seasons. So I thought that it would be cool to learn how to play soccer from her. These celebrity summer camps have their drawbacks. They can be a little pricey. The Wombach camp costs $190 for a two-day session. And as often as not, the headliner isn't truly engaged in the camp. That's not the case here. I know that they look up to me, but I want them to look past me. I want them to, to see themselves doing something beyond my career, see themselves being successful in their own lives, and hopefully I can be a part of it in some small way. It was really cool because you got to meet Abby and a lot of camps you don't actually get to meet who's running it. They just say like hi and welcome and thank you for coming. But she actually like helps you and we liked it last year a lot and it's really fun to do. There probably isn't a superstar in the bunch. 
That's not really the point. In the end, in fact, it wasn't even for Abby back in the day. It's all about being part of something bigger than you. For me, it absolutely developed my self-confidence, uh, allowed me certain life experiences that I never would have possibly had otherwise. So hopefully I give them the environment where they get to decide and choose and have the empowerment to, to have the life that they want to live. Coming up, our honor roll of high school athletes. And later, we're doing doubles in Hilton. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us in the Vision Automotive Group's High School Sports Beat. I'm Bill Pucko as we start our fourth year. Let's check in now with our honor roll of high school athletes. At number three, we have out of Mercy High School, Mary Lo Cicero of the soccer team at a big opening game. Mary had two goals and two assists as the Monarchs beat Central Square, Illinois by a score of five to nothing. At number two, we noted the men and girls soccer team won the Hilton Tournament. On the boys' side, Hilton won the Hilton Tournament. Cadets have a family act to watch. Anthony DeFeo had the game-winning goal in the first game of the final, rather, against Greece Arcadia, while younger brother Matthew got a goal in the win over Gates Chiline. And at number one, Sutherland's defending state champion. Girls volleyball team looks impressive even without the state player of the year, Louisa Shermer. Sarah Blowers had 15 kills. Andrea Allen had a remarkable 39 assists in a three-game opening season win over Gates Chiline. But just a relatively small amount of games to open up the fall sports season last week and the week coming, however, there's a full schedule, and here is some of it. Boys soccer on Monday. It's the Battle of the Pittsfords. Neither Sutherland nor Menden lost during the season opening showcase, but they'll square off against each other at Menden at 4.30. Girls soccer, Sutherland is at HFL. We'll see what our homestanding Cougars have left after winning their first sectional crown last year. That's Tuesday at 6.30. On Thursday, two of the traditional boys' volleyball powers meet. State champion Fairport hosts Penfield. That match at 6 o'clock. Field hockey serves up a good one on Friday. A rematch of the Class B sectional final with Pittsford Sutherland playing at defending champion Brighton. The weekend brings three football games of note. A Friday nighter on the west side with Brockport hosting Churchville Chilai. On Saturday, the two big games find Canada with venturing into Greece to play Athena. That's a three o'clock kickoff. Then under the lights at St. John Fisher's, a matchup deserving of the venue. It is Rush Henrietta and Pittsford Menden at seven. Some of the contests that you should consider seeing this week. Next week, we offer up our season debut of the High School Football Plays of the Week, brought to you by Varsity Media. But coming up next, how one of those teams prepares for the football season. We're doing doubles in Hilton, next. Welcome back to the Vision Automotive Group's High School Sports Beat. I'm Bill Pucko. Every participant in the fall sports scene had August 18th circled on their calendar. That was the first official day for practice. For football teams, it is especially significant. We are doing doubles in Hilton. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Stop. Hey, play it. Rick. Yeah, oh, nice oh, jump oh, 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 oh. Open space, Louie. He wants to put you on your back. Attack him. Hut! 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 Let's go, move! Hey, hey, hey. Rip, rip. Get there, get there, Mr. Turner. All right. Good job. These days, everybody does it, but football properly lays claim to having invented double sessions. One, two, three. Let's go. We haven't changed them at all. We've uh, maybe gave some more water breaks and some more built-in breaks, but well, otherwise we're working just as hard and doing the same things. Here at Hilton, they hit the field early, work for two hours, break for lunch as a group, and then return for two more. The Piney claims that things haven't changed in his years coaching football, but these are no longer the legendary days of the Junction Boys and Paul Bear Bryant's near sadistic training of his football players at Texas A&M back in 1954. 
days when football practice was a real test of your manhood. Boot camp and shoulder pads, no water breaks. While no pain, no gain still applies in this age of enlightenment, football players are treated like people. There's a concept. In a very real sense, football has traded torturous double sessions in the summertime for a year-long commitment. We do so much in the off-season now. Um, I'm sure most schools do. We, we're almost ready to go before the season even starts. We do so much uh, off-season preparation and work and conditioning. Return! Return! Shot. That's good, Gate. That's very good. Get a little lower. You run a little, sometimes you run up straight up and down too much, though. Get your shoulder pads down a little bit. Rich Lapani is one of the Rochester area's top football coaches with a 29-year run at Greece Arcadia and now at Hilton. Billy Harmon has a resume to match. He's been Lapani's assistant the entire time. And while this is Rich's football team, it is just as clear that this is Billy's practice. His is the voice above the din. Metzger, Cutter at the end! Lexi, hang on up. Clayton, Serrano at BT! No, he's your backpedaling. Fight number two. If you jump number one, number two may be the threat, not number one. Okay? Yep. All right, let's walk through every single play we got. Ready? Thorpe on you, 24 blast. Deep, depth. Make sure you acknowledge a signal, okay? Remember, Mets and Cuddy. Your eyeball on the fullback. Once it clears him, you're one yard outside that punter for a fake. It's just how I've always been, you know. Rich is, Rich will yell when he has to, but it's just that my, it's how I communicate. Like if you come to one of our games, you'll hear me I, on the sideline. You can hear me across the parking lot, I guess. But it's just they, they're used to me yelling, and I, I never stop talking. It's like well, if I stop talking, I'm not teaching. But no what they do, Jesse, that's your game. Be ready here. Be ready to hit. Squeeze, shoulder to shoulder. He who would learn to fly one day must first learn to stand and walk and run and climb and dance. One cannot fly into flying. Frederick Nietzsche. And one of Harmon's favorite sayings, yet. We're not very complicated. People will tell you that we're not very complicated, but we like to do everything, you know, what Lombardi say reach for perfection, settle for greatness. You know what I mean, or whatever, or something like that. We try to be the best thing that we can be, but every kid, put it this way, we had the Westside camp two weeks ago. We had guys that on Monday had no idea what a hole was. By the time we left the Westside camp on, on Thursday, they were making plays. This is the second of eight days of double sessions at Hilton. What's been the toughest part about double sessions? It's just getting back in the groove of things, waking up early in the morning, and the ladies getting back and everything. It's tiring. Do you enjoy this? I enjoy it because it's for Hilton football. It's the yeah. hard work and, and at the end of the season if we get the wins and it's all because of this, the hard work that we put in here. I like the team play, you know, I like getting comfortable with the other guys around me and you know, seeing how good they are and how good I am and where we are best at. Which is all well and good, but things are about to change. Come on, come on in, fight, 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 fight! <laughs> Very good. Wednesday brings the pads. For countless generations, this has been the sound of late summer. The sound of football. Remember, we're running through it. If we come up to it and we stop our feet, it's going to punch us back. We want to run through this thing with our head beneath here and bring our hips, our powers from our waist down. Tradition versus necessity, how important are double sessions and where does it fit in there? I like them for the uh, not only the time to put your offense, defense, special teams in, but for us we try to keep it the same. We try to get the kids to uh, really follow a lot of details and uh, get the discipline and get themselves, get their schedule set and, and, uh, and we keep trying to do the same thing year in, year out. By the end of that first week, only the Hilton football and girls soccer teams are still doing doubles. These guys will come back out next week for three more leading toward the preseason scrimmages that precede the year's first games. It is part of the never-ending process. Coach calls double sessions fun. Is this fun? Uh, at times. Not, not the running, but everything else is pretty much fun. Because you, uh, you get to work with your friends seven hours, pretty much you're just doing everything with, um, whether it goes from hanging out or getting work in, and you know you're getting better, so that's good. It's pretty much like it's pretty much a school day, just seven hours of football every day, you know. And then we spend the hour and a half at lunch together. We all get really close during this time as a team. And it's a lot of fun.
Hill will be good again this year. There are good athletes all over the field, especially in the skill positions. This could be a fun season for the cadets. Uh, we throw the ball, we got some good kids can throw the ball and catch the ball. So we open things up a little bit, but we still believe we have to be physical and be able to run the football. And uh, we believe that's the way football is supposed to be played, being physical and uh, you know, being disciplined and being tough. A last look back when we return. Welcome back to the Vision Automotive Group's High School Sports Beat. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Pucko. To understand where you're headed, you have to fully understand where you've been. As we begin a new sports season, here are some of the lasting images from last year. And our thanks to videographer Jeff Barron for that piece. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, the 10 dealerships of the Vision Automotive Group. They make the sports beat possible. We'll see you next week.